Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. The sun is just starting to rise and we are set up walleye fishing right now. I do have two buddies with me here. I've got Carter and Adam. They will be uh, fishing as well. I won't have a camera set up with them or audio, but if they hook into a big fish, we'll go over there and put it on video just to show it off. But anyways, let's get, uh, let's get into the shack. It's nice and warm in there. It's chilly out here. So it'll be shack fishing today, keeping those walleye nice and warm. And I think the plan of attack today will be going through a bunch of different jig and spoon options that I really like. So let's get to it. Eat it, buddy. There's another one coming here. Come on. He's got me handcuffed right there if he does eat too. Oh, look how fast he scoured. Took him forever to come in. And then look at how fast he scoured away. Huh? He might come back though. He's coming back. He's coming back. I'm gonna drop it in the dirt and see if he likes that. There's another one coming from the left too. They're not big, they're not great big, but they're just nice fish, I think. See if I can get them to eat it out of the dirt. Raise it. Come on, he's chasing it. Come on, buddy. Nice, got him. Having that dead stick down there obviously pays off. Take advantage of your second hole, right? I don't know how big he is, but he's probably decent. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just really, really wanting a big walleye, right? There's another one over here chasing my dead stick there or my not my dead stick my active bait it's like a 21 22 inch or something like that this little rattle master spoon works so good it's like a dead stick i just have to get this fish off and then i can catch this other one right here too okay one more quick look and back down see ya buddy this is what i have for a, a dead stick right now i have a little rattle master a 1 8 ounce made by acme it's got a slight little i don't know if you can really hear it here with my clothes but it's got a slight little rattle in it right there like i said 1 8 ounce it's just hanging there as a dead stick and it's a little bit smaller presentation than my other spoon which i'll go through here and if they won't if they're not interested in the bigger presentation you have a smaller presentation down there at the same time so having that take advantage of your two holes in your ice fishing is something that you should probably try to do as often as you can and then run two different bait options right obviously a dead stick a jig and a minnow something like that is obviously a popular a popular choice too i just haven't had a lot of success with a jig and a minnow for where i am right now so that's why i have two spoons running right now oh that fish just come straight in and just hammered me i never even marked him oh it's big too it's big, it's coming up fast. It's decent, it's decent. Man, I never even marked that fish. It just comes straight in and hammered me. Oh, that was crazy. So it either came in from behind me or in front of me. It's a nice fish, it's a nice fish, nice fish. Oh, Clayton, be careful, be careful, be careful, Clayton. This one's on the dinner bell. Come on, come up. Here we go. Oh, that is a fatty. That is a fatty. <laughs> Look at the chunk on that thing. Unbelievable. Awesome. What a fish. Just a toad. Like I said, that thing came in and just rocked me, either from the front or behind me. What well, didn't travel from the right or the left. Wow. Good old, like I said, dinner bell. Oh, am I stuck here? Okay, let's get him off. Gonna get a quick measure. Ooh, it's not hooked as good as I thought, but it's definitely hooked. Like I said, no bait on that one. We're gonna get a quick measure, but I'm thinking about 20, 27-ish maybe, but just a fatty, maybe 28. What a tank. Yeah, 27 and a half, but a, just a, a bruiser right there. What a fatty. <laughs> easy, easy. 
Okay. Awesome fish. What a fatty. Wow. So much power. Oh, he, uh, <laughs> he hit my Mega Live. The water, my screen went off of the Mega Live thing here. Let's see here. Uh, views and uh, back to Mega Live. That was awesome. Yes! So on that rod, like I said, I was running dead stick with the Rattle Master. On this one, I'm actively jigging a 3 8 ounce dinner bell here. So that's their biggest size and I'm not running any bait. So with no bait, it just got nice flutter action. And I just been popping it, popping it along steady. And when I popped it, went down, I went to go set it and there was like a fish there. So awesome. Oh, it's a mark on the right coming here. Low. Low. Oh yeah, fast too. Come on. Oh, I think I could have set it. He had it for a second. That's okay. Pound it down in that mud. They like it lower today, it seems like. The fish isn't very big, I don't think. I'm gonna pull it up. Watching my rod tip, just going twitch, 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 twitch. Oh, that's not a bad fish. Nice. I gotta get another hook set. Did not like my hook set. He kind of handcuffed me a bit. I don't think it's that big, like I said. But definitely something going on right now. Again, no bait. No bait. I got another one coming in there on the left. I'm going to try to get this off quick, easy, easy, and then jiggle that other spoon. Those ones look smaller. They could be Cisco's too. I'm going to show them off then real quick, about a 18 inch or something like that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, things are good. I know it's only three walleye, but when I'm sitting on a lake where I'm looking for a bigger a bite, especially a big fish spot, you're looking to put more time in and going to have less bites. And how do you find a big fish spot? Honestly, all it is is just time and experience. Generally, if you catch a big fish in an area though, it's a good idea to mark a waypoint because there's a good reason why that big fish was there for likely, not to say always, but likely the big, that is the reason why that big fish was there. I've got some areas where I've got clusters of waypoints where I've caught big fish over the years, right? Multiple big fish. And you'll notice you'll get this little cluster of waypoints that'll form in one little area. So how do you find a big fish spot? There's no really like honestly great answer for you besides just time and experience. It's all experience when it comes to fishing and finding big fish spots, 100%. I think I might have got a little bit off topic with that. But what I was saying is that I'm not looking for a pile of bites. Like if I catch five, five to ten walleyes on a day like today, I'm pumped. Oh, what is this? What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to try to take it into the dirt. Come on, circle, 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 circle. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on, nose down. It's not nosing down yet. I can see its head up still. Get that nose down in that dirt, buddy. Come back. Come back. There we go, nose down. Nose down, nose down, nose down. There, nose is down. Nice. Oh, no, I dropped him. I don't think there's anything I could have did differently. Well, it definitely hurts a lot to, oh, what's going on here? I'm just gonna talk about that fish I lost and there's another mark showing itself up here. Look at this. Come on. Nice, okay. Well, I was just gonna talk about <laughs> losing that fish and how it hurts and uh, hook up with another fish, which is always a nice bonus, right? <laughs> awesome, okay, well, see? Sometimes when you talk about fish losing them, like you choke that spoon down. Sometimes when you talk about losing fish, it, uh, it's a good thing. Oh, it's funny how sometimes it can be so aggressive and sometimes just not aggressive at all. This thing's just demolished. Complete opposite to that last fish I worked up higher or sorry down on the bottom 
and this one was coming in i was way i was reading that i was going to get it high it's always hard to tell for sure like how you're going to connect with the fish right sometimes high sometimes low you have to just kind of go through the process and make adjustments as you go typically i usually fish for them high to start with and if they're not showing signs of like eating it i drop it down into the dirt and make them kind of think like what is that then right oh there's another fish down on the bottom there i get them to try to like think what that could be why my line's caught up on the ice come on clayton come on clayton get it together anyway so yeah sometimes you catch them high sometimes you catch them low that fish was up higher usually i try to fish from a little bit higher to start with but if i notice they're not eating i drop it down in the dirt the longer they can analyze the spoon when it's going up usually the the worst chance you have to catch it when it's down in the bottom it's banging up sediment ever or sediment everywhere and all of a sudden the profile of the spoon just kind of shows up and they're like there it is there's the crayfish or the minnow or whatever right so Anyways, I was going to talk about some different style of spoons here before that fish. I won't say, well, say rudely, I'll say kindly interrupted me. So the two spoons you see me use a lot, the dinner bell, the 3 8 size, 3 16 size, both I've done quite well with. This one I usually fish with no bait. This one I'll use a little bit of a bait. This one I use because it's got nice erratic fall, uh, a good wobble to it, slides out. This one is a little bit more pound on the spot. It will slide out, but not as far as this one will and this one too down in the dirt the bigger one you can just kind of lift it lift that front and just create some sediment like that dinner bells are available at fishfrostbite.com in the states and fishfrostbite.ca in canada the lindy quivering rattle spoon this is another favor i made it a favorite i made a mistake in a, re of, uh, a recent video i said that this was size uh three eighths it's actually a quarter i use a quarter ounce and an eighth ounce Probably I use the quarter ounce more than anything, but this is another favorite spoon. It's uh, more of a flutter spoon in terms of it slide out to the side a little bit. The spoon that I have on this one right now, a 1 8 ounce rattle master. This is more of a pounded on the spot spoon with a little bit of a rattle encased in it. It's actually a pretty, pretty loud rattle for as small as a spoon is. This is a great spoon. I like this color, the pink Wonder Bread type or color here. And then another spoon from Acme is the quarter ounce Castmaster. This one again, pounded on the spot spoon down on the bottom, stir up some sediment. This one being tungsten has a lot quicker fall rate than the lead version. But those those three spoons are my, my favorites. These ones you can get at the on the Acme site in the States and Pokey's Tackle in Canada. And then the one I talked about in between. The quiver spoon you can get from lurenet.com. You can use code Clayton15 if you're in the States to get 15% off any order on that site. So they have a bunch of different brands on that site in general. And then if you're in Canada, you go to pokeystackle.ca. So spoons, 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 sp spoons, spoon spoons. I think I was about to talk about losing that fish too and how it how it sucks. But hey, they don't always connect i felt like i got a good hook set on that fish and everything obviously just didn't have it in its mouth very good oh come on come on come on come here it's not very big but i got him but i got him okay here we go baby here we go here we go here we go just another little another little guy another little guy that i gotta eat up high not down low I was gonna have to give him a little hand but he got going he got going i switched to the little dinner bell for a little bit just because it's been a little bit slower i thought maybe the fish would be a little bit more finicky once prime time hits i might go to back to a, a bigger size again so yeah life is good well the two rods i'm using today are both from frostbite this one being the true grit this one being the smoke show Generally on the True Grit, I go anything 3 16 ounce and larger. And then on the Smoke Show, I go 3 16 ounce and smaller. Both, I'm running both of them with the new Frostbite Diesel uh, reel here, the Diesel 1000. And then on them, this one have su has suffix 832 ice braid. And this one has suffix uh, 832 ice braid as well, but a 10 pound. So I got a weird 
mark going up here. I'm not sure what it is. It almost looks like a couple Cisco's. Yeah, I think it's just a couple of Cisco's. Anyway, like I said, 10 pound on the True Grit, 8 pound on the Smoke Show. The Suffolk 832 ice spray has been very, very good. And then on each of them, I got paired a fluorocarbon leader. This being 10 pound, that being 8 pound. Uh, probably about a four to five foot section and I time with a uni to uni knot. The clearer the water, the longer you're going to want to make your floral leader. And you can use a, a little tiny barrel swivel, something like that, and make them, you know, two, three feet. I like to do a uni to uni knot when I connect them and I make my floral leaders a little bit longer. That also gives you more ties on that floral leader as well. So, yeah, that's my setup today. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, good fish, good fish, good fish, come on, big fish, big fish, come on, big fish, I want to take it to the dirt if I can here, come on. Try and get his attention. Come on. Come back. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come down. Come down. There we go. Come down for it. Come on. Yeah. Circle. Circle on it. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. No. Why did I lift? Okay, he's, oh, he's into it though. This is good. Oh, he's getting fired up. He's getting fired up. Lift. Come on. Come on, big fish. Big fish. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. I gotta take him back down. He liked it more down the bottom. Turn on it. Here we go. Turn on it. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger profile on the bottom. Right? Come on. Come on. Yeah, tail down. Tail. Tail up. Yes! Got him! Got him! Big fish! Big fish! Big fish! Oh, come on. Stay button, baby. Stay button. It's always scary when they eat it right off of the bottom. Right? Like, you don't always necessarily get a good hook set. Just clearing out. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, yeah. Big golden walleye. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. It's all about taking them down to the bottom. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on. At this point, I feel like I got him hooked good. Oh, I didn't, shouldn't have said that right because I was going to come off. Come on. Oh, he's circling. So much, so much power. It's a nice one. It's not huge, but it's like a 28, 29 incher. I'm just waiting to get its head lined up. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, that's a tank. Get his tail. Can't get his tail to go level, but that is a big one. I have to back up just a little bit. <laughs> Solid fish, like a 20, probably 28, 29, something like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, not even hooked anymore. Quick measure on you, buddy. Quick measure. Uh, 20, 28 and a quarter. Uh, 28 and a half. 28 and a half inches right there, baby. Awesome. 27 and a half today. 28 and a half. Crushing big wall. It's on spoons, baby. So good. Okay. Let's get you back, buddy. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> so, oh, there's another one down there, too. Oh, no, there's Cisco's. Clayton. Settle down. Yes! Well, with that beautiful fish, that will wrap up this video. 
So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, chicken spoons for walleye is a good thing. And don't forget, get outside.